Hey everyone, look who we got. For those that haven't seen him in forever, it's Tesla Cat. I cleaned up the studio a little bit. And uh, look, he's not even afraid to come in. You know it's going to be a good sign, and I got an extra chair there. We'll get that out of the screen. We're going rough open here. Uh, I was all set to go, and he came into the studio. For those that don't remember Tesla Cat, there you go. You got a little bit of a view on there as he's drinking my soda, walking around. He'll be interrupting us. We're going to get right into it. Folks, I got to tell you, I am pumped. And we got some trading going on. I'm going to share this with you. Oh, man, uh, this is, we're getting right into it. Is my microphone okay? I When I was clean, well, now it's not. I just knocked it over. But uh, is the sound okay? Hopefully so, because I had some some changing in the, the settings when I was cleaning everything up. If it's coming up a little bit, let me know down below. But we're going to get into this, share some of this with you right away. Like I said, excuse me, as I get set up, I haven't recorded since we messed with the studio here. But we're going to pull this up right away and get into it. Folks, my trade, you see it, a banger. This is a 100 percenter. I bought these contracts at 58 cents just before we went on stage. 50 at 25. I told you we were going to have bangers. What I mean by bangers is I paid what? About 1500 for this. It is up uh, 100%. I am now up 1575. This is what I'm talking about. We will have bad days. We will have good days. Uh, this is this is insane. And so it's nice to see a winner out there like we are getting. And, of course, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to show you what I did. And more importantly, folks, this is a 100% up on already verified. And I use the bread recipe. I use the, the technicals I teach in my course. All of this on a $1,500 purchase to double my money in minutes. And I'm teaching how to do that at the course. The course is officially live. And I had the first link down below for the technical course. We've been working on this for months, months. And so this is an awesome opportunity for you to jump in for only uh, just a couple of days. And it's not, you know, I don't even know if we'll make it to the weekend, but I'm taking, I think it's uh, 349 regularly. And we're taking $70 off as a grand opening price for like 48 hours. And so I'll say 48 hours today and tomorrow. At the end of tomorrow, it goes up the regular price. So for anybody who's interested in getting in, this is your chance. You get lifetime access to the course. You get lifetime access to the Discord associated with the course. Not the Stock Mo Patreon, not the Stock Spot, the Stock Academy, the Stock Mo Academy course. You will get a private Discord there that we're all going to be a part of. It's going to be awesome. And you get lifetime access to that. We're going to be continuing to put new materials in. I'm going to have live teaching sessions. Where we go in and we talk about this. We talk about this. All right. This is a winner. Look at the, the red pepper. It's growing. Let's go back. How much money am I up now? Oh, now we're up uh, $1,800 on a $1,500 play. I should lock some in. I don't think so. We're going to let it go. Now we're up 19. I will eventually sell a little bit here. But my point to you is, uh, this is, this is interesting. So, uh, we got 25. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell 10 of them, lock them in, over 100% up. Wow. And I'm going to show you why this did what it did and why I played it. All right. So now for the day, we're up $1,770-something. I got 15 contracts left. I will watch this. We do not want to give it all back. And so, oh, man, that's tough. That is tough. So a stop order? What do you do? What do you do? Let's take a look. Where are we at here? Uh, we bought a 58. You know, 116 would be 100% up. Uh, I would put this at a dollar. A dollar. I think what I'll do is at a dollar, I will sell 10 more. If it goes back to a dollar, which it may. If it does not go back to a dollar and we continue this streak, that is it. Who joined? Jetty, did you join? I see some people down there. Join that course down below. This is how I'm going to teach people. Everybody's like, the bread recipe. Talk to us, Mo. Folks, I go over it in detail, how to set it up, everything. 
and technicals and everything. This isn't just for day trading. You can use this for anything, uh, for the technical trading, for the day chart, the week chart, the hour chart, the three, the five, all of it. And we're going to have a Hall of Fame, Hall of Shame. This would go in the Hall of Fame. This is a 100% gainer right here, 100% gainer uh, today, which is beautiful. And I'll show you what I did. All right, let's get into it because I know there's people out there. Hit the like button for me. Hit the like button. And the other thing I want everybody to do, just so I know, let me know where you're from. I always love this. And of course, uh, when we get into that, let's see, we're probably going to sell 10 here. Uh, getting a little green move here. We're up to, what we got? 58 cents, 110, which is fantastic. No complaints. We did take a lot of profit. Uh, we're up 1,480 on this trade. We'll see how this plays out. It was due for a little bit of a comeback like we saw right here. Now we'll see if it's the, basically the same thing. The next minute candle will be the big candle. Uh, we'll see. I would expect red after this, but because it is in a bearish move and you do get slight jump ups, as we're seeing. The, the main thing for me when I'm watching this, and you can see we got oversold big time. Right here is what I'm kind of watching. You can see the RSI got oversold and it did pop right here. When you get in that RSI, and I teach this, you're going to expect a little bit of a turn up. We got that. RSI kind of relieved some pressure. Next leg down, we got oversold again, relieving some pressure. And now if there's going to be a leg down, the pressure's relieved, this would be it. That's why I said this next candle should be, if you're going to, if it doesn't reverse its personality and turn into a bull, this is where we would expect a little bit more red. But these are the things I teach in there. So I would highly suggest if you guys haven't done it, hit the stock mo technical analysis course down below and join us. Lifetime access to that private Discord over there for that one. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have live sessions. It's all good, folks. This is a banger of a trade so far, like I said. Um, right now we have we are up 1500. I can't, you guys can't see it, can you? Well, let's do it. Uh, let's do it this way. Well, that's not it. There you guys can see it. Right here is what I'm up right now in that trade. 1450. So we got a little green candle. Yep. You can always tell the green candle as it changes. I have a stop loss at a dollar for 10 of the shares to guarantee us a nice little gain on that if it happens. This is where we're going to see if it reverses. If it does not, the line in the sand, I would think, would be right there. Uh, but it could, that could be a bottom and we could be on the way back the other way. And that's what I'm going to watch for. It would be nice to have this continue, but I'm not going to complain. That's a huge winner. That means the trading today, even if I have a few losses, will be okay uh, because of what we're seeing. Now we are closing in on a reversal here with the RSI getting up. And that's what I'm, I watch. All right, we sold, sold, we're down to five contracts left and 90 something. So at those five, we will watch and set a closing order because we're up 1300 on this trade. And we will set a closing order on those for, well, we're at 98. We'll give this one a little room, but not a lot. And actually, we'll play this one by hand. We're just going to do a market on this. It's only five shares. Uh, if I see a reversal here with the RSI and this using my recipe, I'm out. And we just might get it, man. You can see it right here. This this was the line I was waiting for because we had a little bit of rejection right here. And I would expect this to come down. If not, a reversal most likely is in store. And that's how we're going to watch this thing. So, yeah, crazy day. Yeah, put down in the comments where you're from, folks. I'll give you guys shout outs here. We got people joining the course down below. If you have not joined, please do. Oh, man, it's good. Yes, yeah, the royalty. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Over at the uh, Stockmo Patreon, I'm going to be having a live stream over there. Just so everybody knows, at 2.15, I'm going from here over to the Stockmo Patreon. And we're going to continue trading. All right, so this has reversed right here. This is it, man. This is it. Five contracts left down to 87. And let's see here. I'll wait for confirmation here. This is the confirmation. If this is green, they get confirmation. And we are reversed. And boy, does it look it. Uh, we will find out right here. Because it got confirmation on the EMAs. The only other thing I would say is that 50 could hold as a uh, resistance. You can see we got above it once. Came back below. Came back below. We're going up there teasing again. And we could come back below. 
after this little release of pressure from this. And actually, if you did the fib on this, just say you were saying like right here, you did the fib on this, you would expect a 50% retracement into this zone before you would have another leg down. So let's go ahead and play that and uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, because just say that this was your top right here where we had resistance and then we top out up here and then all of a sudden it comes down and we retest up your 50%. We just hit it. We got into the Goldilocks zone, which would be your resistance if this continues to be bearish. It would get in here, fail, retest one more time, fail again, and then you would go down and have new lower lows. Let's see if that plays according to what the FIB teaches us or if we're, if it's wrong. It can be wrong, folks. It's not always going to be right. So uh, we'll see. The volume dropped off dramatically right here, as you guys can see. Uh, that's a lot of bear volume. All of a sudden, it dropped off. The bulls got back into the game, and that's what we're watching for. So we'll see. This is a, a good day. It's going to be a money-making day for sure. I guess McDonald's, here we come. All right, in the house. Let's give shout outs here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's go back up. Where are we at here? Man, I scrolled down too far. Let's give everybody shout outs. Hi, Mo. Love your enemies. Yes, kill them with kindness, I always say. Mike sounds good. Thank you, Dylan, because I just messed with the settings on accident. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, where is the bank you speak of? The bank. The bank is right here. I, I showed this. Uh, what, where's the bank? The bank's right there. You can see up uh, 1200 and something dollars. I take that in a heartbeat. Uh, and we're watching because now we're in the Goldilocks zone again. And that, my friend, is dangerous. And uh, we could get confirmation right here because I know some people are like, why didn't he get out yet? It's because I'm waiting for confirmation using the bread recipe. And this could be it. We're breaking the 50 on the RSI. And um, that's what we're watching for. And if it does hold, we could have a reversal at this particular moment. This was the bottom and we're running. And I'll play a call option. I'll play a small call option. Uh, but that's what I would do. And it does look like it. So I am going to get out of this. Lock up the 1195 So 1200 bucks up on that trade. No complaints. I'm not going to be mad. You always timing it's next to impossible. We take profit on the, on the big gainers. And then... We come in and we get ready for the next one. Why? Because, well, that's what we do. I'm not going to go big on this. 10 on a, not a put. What am I doing a put for, folks? What am I doing a put for? We're not doing a put. Let's do, uh, let's do, let's do this and we're going to buy, but I'm only going to do eight because I don't want to do a full, we have such a good day going so far. Why ruin it? Now, the danger here for those wondering, is that you have the 50 that holds as a, a, a resistance if this continues to be bearish. And I'm always nervous about this, but I am going to go with the bread here uh, and we're going to see. I'm going to wait. Got a little bit of resistance. And I want to see how this plays out a little bit. I'm not going to be surprised to see that give some of that big green candle back up. We're closing in on the top of the Bollingers and a lot of things happening out there. And the cats are fighting right now, as I just heard one go. So we're going to get in now. We'll just do, and we'll set this for those who are wondering. Um, yeah, there you go. So the goal is with this green candle, and I got in at 97. It's at 105, as you guys can see. I want to make on this, of course, I'm not getting greedy. I want to make my 10% as we do, and we'll go from there. So I'm watching it, and that's the plan. I could let it go and see if we can double up again, but I'm not not going to be that greedy with that whole thing. I do want to sell a little bit at the 10%, which, oh, goodness, we're at 107 gives me that 10%. So we'll get it ready, and we will get it ready. So I don't want to do that. I can't see it. All right, 102. We don't want that. I mean, one big green candle we're in. Then I'll lock it in like I usually do, which is, I said a stop loss at the original price. Uh, if it comes crashing down, this is a loss, but we did cross the 50, which was big. The 13 coming up should give it a little bit more running room. I will stop out at 30% on this, which would be a $200 loss, but we're already up 1200 on the day. And so I'm okay with this trade either way. Using what we see, this is, like I said, bearish lately. And so this would be a complete change of personality as i call it 
uh, and we would have to watch it. We're going to see how this thing plays out, though. This is like watching paint dry sometimes. Uh, where are we at price-wise? 97.101. So we're up 4%. I should, could take the 4% and be out and be done. But I want to see if this plays out like we would think it would. I, a little consolidation as we close in on the Bollinger Band is okay. And we're going to watch. Yeah, so the 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 new class is down below for those who would like to come over and see work, months and months and months of work put together in one place. This is your chance. Link down below for 48 hours, roughly 48 hours. We're going to have it off. 70 bucks off as a grand opening to get people in there, to get the Discord populated. So it's lifetime access. If you guys are interested, this is your chance. All right. So the red candles decide to jump in right when we jump in. Oh, those annoying red candles. The uh, red peppers, man. We need some green cucumbers going up. We'll see if it happens. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to set this one, uh, the stop loss, probably around 20 no, 30% would give me the 200. So that's how I usually do it. And we will see. If it gets choppy like it does in the afternoons, then it's a choppy trading day. My goal is just to make money every day. And in this day trading and the long-term stocks, of course, as you guys know, they've been good. How is the market today? Have we have we gotten into the, the market here? What do we got? Finance, finance. We got finance. There we go. So the markets are actually down a little bit Got from where we were today. Uh, NEO up nicely, uh, down TMF, Tesla up a little bit. So we got some things going on. All right. All right. There's a little bit of a green cucumber to give us some hope. I'm not giving up on this bread recipe. When, As you can see here, the 15 crossing the, the 50 is a big sign. If we can get that, I'd feel real good. Uh, so we're up again. We're up about eh, 3 4%. Well, actually, now we're up two cents on that's big, five cents. So we're at five. So if we get up to 10%, which I need that to be at 107 would be over. So I need one big green candle to get that up to 107. And then we can see if we're off and running. Yeah, sounds good. I'm glad you guys told me I messed with the sound things. We got Miami in the house. Appreciate you. Loud and clear. You just joined the royalty. I appreciate the royalty membership, man. Seriously, Vitty. Appreciate it. Let's go. Join today, Jetty. Join the course. Yes, join the course. That's what I'm talking about, folks. The course is the next level stuff. I believe personally um, it's next level. We did this. This course is fantastic. Mrs. Mo and I worked on this for months. We made it what we thought was perfect. We're going to continue to add to it. Man, it's good. Uh, Toronto in the house. Yes, keep. that's what I'm talking about, Allison. Uh, Kelf, I appreciate it. Good to see you, McClut Mr. McClut Mr. Clutch. I think Mick Clutch. Mr. Clutch in the house. Hope you're doing well, my friend. I always appreciate you watching the videos with us. We'll see how we go. Today's a good day so far. Maybe I can get a, a, a golf membership by the time we're done here if the stocks go the way. South Florida in the house. We got DC in the house. Illinois in the house. Ah, Eldon, I saw, I remember you with the Cubs hat. Yep, from yesterday. Good, good. I'm glad to have you back, my friend. Uh, hey, pal, Mark in the house from Jersey. Hope everything is well. It's chilly up here in the Northeast. I'm up here with him. Uh, Jack from Atlanta. Hope everything is going well. Mr. McGunn, I love that name. That's a good name. Alabama in the house. Uh, I remember you from the other day as well. We got a lot of returning people. Love you guys. Keep coming back. I appreciate it. Hello from Denmark. Isn't it awesome to have people from around the world? Denmark, we love you. Hope everything is going well. Colorado in the house, my friends. You probably got some snow out there or something by now. Uh, is that we got? Is that the spy? It is the spy on the minute chart. That's what I'm trading today. The minute chart. Um, it's the Wild Wild West. A lot of people like other ones. I like this one. Orlando in the house, and we're gonna see how that goes. L.A. I'll be out to see you December second. Hope you're at the show with us. Miami in the house. I'd love to go down there next. Uh, Miami is a place I want to do a live. Uh, have a meet and greet for people. In Queens, New York. We were up there in Hell's Kitchen just a couple of weeks ago, months ago. It's, time goes quick. Puerto Rico in the house. Alan, I remember you. Hey, welcome back, my friend. Uh, Albany, New York in the house. Missed the first part. The only first part. 
was that we made bank at 100% up on one. And so the 100% up was, I'm going to go over, my friend. I'll, I'll go over that here after we get through the shout outs. Want to give everybody some shout outs. Lewisburg, Tennessee, not Pennsylvania, where the federal penitentiary is. We're in Tennessee. It's probably much nicer there. Hello from Delaware, right here. From Delaware, here. All right, Savannah, Georgia in the house. That has to be beautiful. A lot of songs written about that. All right, so let's see where we're at, and I'll continue on. We are at 104. I need that to get to 107. I'll take half of it and lock it in, and then it's, yeah, we're at 106. I'll take 106.5. That is a, that's, it's almost 10. It's nine point something up. So at that point, I can do a closing order on this, and I could set it as a stop loss. And I could set it at the price I bought it at. Now, this is one of the strategies I talk about is minimizing, maximizing your gains and minimizing your risk. So I, I'm, I could set it at the price I bought it at, which is 107, which I'm going to do. And that is, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that a market, stop market? Yep, 97, yep, yep, yep. And now it's running. And so we can see we got a couple green candles here. So now I have a guaranteed win. This is two wins in a row. And you can come over and I'll take my ugly mug off and you can see we're up. Uh, what do we got on this trade? 70, 82, 82 bucks, 72 bucks, 78. So I risked like 700 bucks and we made 80 something. So we made 10%. It's risk-free. And the worst part is I'll probably make 40 bucks. If it continues to run, the profits continue in. I sit back, we have fun and that's how you do it. You guarantee yourself an opportunity, and I use the bread recipe on this. And for those wondering, what's the bread recipe? What is it? It's a nickname I gave it because I think we all want we want to, we don't want to chase crumbs. We want the whole loaf. So I call this the bread recipe. This helps us get the whole loaf. Now, if you want to uh, step for step everything, videos, hours of videos, hours of everything, and a live place where you can go to talk to people. You go to the course down below, 70 bucks off for the next day or two. And after that, it's up the full price. And it's going to be awesome because we're going to add more and more content. I got some cool things going in. Look at this, guys. We're running. This is now up 20-something uh, percent. So we're doing well. This is what I said, man. The recipe works. I don't care what people say. It's not going to work every single time. But when it does, uh, it hits more than it doesn't. Even in choppy waters, if you play it right and you're not greedy going for 10%, maybe you're only going for 4 it works a lot. Uh, and so that's how I'm playing this. Folks, let's ride this thing. Let's see how this thing goes. Let's not have it pull all the way back down and stop me out. I'd like to have a nice run. So that link is straight down below on the live stream. And I do recommend it. For everybody who's just getting here, this was my 100 percenter right here. So I got on. I was watching this right before I got on with you guys. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Get rid of the fib. So right here, let me blow this up so everybody can see. I go over this pretty in detail in the lessons, but this was what I was waiting for. We had a nice little return, and of course we dropped, and I knew it was consolidation, and I thought there would be a pump up and then the next leg down. And uh, I want to show you the chart I was watching as well. I put all this together, and I was watching the SPY today, and this is what I saw. I saw a shoulder, a nice head, and another shoulder. This told me we were going to have a big dump down. So at this point, I was talking to Mrs. Mo, and I said, we got a head and shoulders here. And, you know, if if we break that neckline, which we did right here, we should go down 60% of the time. And we did. It, it did exactly what I thought it would do. And uh, so I, I shorted it, which, you know, I have everything along in my portfolio, but no reason not to make a quick grant. Uh, and when we are rebounding nicely, too. So it bottomed out. And now it's running. And so right here we crossed and I got right here. You can see the, I'll do the RSI first. The RSI crossed. We didn't confirm till here. So this was your confirmation. <clears throat> um, and uh, even if you bought in, even if you bought in here with not proper confirmation, but you could have, you were still buying. You had to wait. You had to wait like 10 minutes. And I did. I was okay with it. I knew that most likely we were going to flush down. And it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 minutes before we got the flush. Once we got the flush, it was off and flushing. And then you just sat back and enjoyed the ride. We had one retest here, but I kept it all. And then down we went. And here's where I finally sold because uh, the RSI was down. I should have took it here. Actually, we did it. I think it was here. We sold it here, right? And that's what we did. Now I'm watching this. We are closing in on a top on the RSI and the Bollinger, but it's opened up nicely. And that's what we're looking at. So at this point, 
This trade is 97. We're up eh, 20, we're up 25 percent on the trade. So we're up 126 on this trade so far. So no complaints. 126 on a $700 investment, which is only a few minutes old. Uh, so now what I like to do is edit the stop loss and eventually it's going to get stopped out, of course. So we want to edit this. I can't even edit it. Man. See, that's what I mean. I don't know the controls of this thing. Let's see. There it is. Cancel, replace. I'm learning. So let's guarantee 106. 106 gets us 10% on the overall trade, which would be like 70 bucks. So I'm not going to complain. So yeah, we have, and if it drops down there, I'm okay. So we have it at 106. It would have to drop. If it does drop to 106, I want my 10%. And then we'll just watch it. But that's how I do this. I want to make little gainers. And then when we do have a good run, we can double up. And that's how I like to trade it. We had, we finally had a doubler, which was beautiful. Uh, yeah. And I'll, I'll be live trading over at the Stockmo Patreon today. That link's down below as well. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. All right. Charles in the house. I always want to give him a special shout out. He is always in there commenting on my, my videos, which I get to know people that way. And I try to write to him as well. Charles, thank you so much for watching from West Virginia. You're right close to me here. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, definitely would love to meet you guys someday. A lot of you out there with the meet and greets around the country, we will. Which you is, which stock is? The SPY, we're trading the SPY today. San Francisco in the house. There we go. San Francisco, Mo, you got it. Michigan says money, money, Mo, Mo. You know it, Brian, my man in the house. Member over at the Patreon as well. Hope you're doing well. Love it, Brian. We're having a good run, man. Today's a good day so far. Uh, technicals on SMCI. Yeah, you know what? We're up. We'll watch this. SMCI, I got you. I'm going to give you my opinion, my friend. Here you go. SMCI, super micro computer. Uh, right now, bullish on the minute chart, but I'm going to give you the days. I usually do the day for people who ask for technicals, not the minute charts. So as you can see, using my, I, I called this already. One, we haven't confirmed. We did confirm right here. We confirmed right here. We broke, broke. And we had one test back, but it should be bullish at this point. It's a weak bullish using my recipe, but you got above the 50, went one click up, and the, and you had the same thing with the five cross and the 13, one click up, and that would be a buy. So I would be buying either the next day, which you could have got it cheaper, or that day. And then it should be higher within the next few candles, which it is. And it should continue on. After a big candle, we close in on the Bollinger. You would expect a little bit of a give back and then moving on up. So there, my friend, is your technicals. I would be bullish on that uh, for those wondering. Uh, just ignore all this stuff. This is me doing my thing. All right. I have a lot of different stuff I look at daily, which we go over in the course. Join the course, kids. This Seriously, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of that course. I, I've been an educator and I've been a teacher of the year. Not only that, I am. I uh, was voted one of the top three business educators by Charles Schwab in the United States of America, recognized in D.C. for two national championships in investing, 15 state, uh, state, not national championships, state championships in Pennsylvania, and recognized on Harrisburg Senate floor three different times. Folks, I have the accolades. I have two master's degrees. I was a financial advisor for the, I believe it was this country's largest financial advising firm. And it could, I don't know if it's in the world or not, but they are big. And I bring all that to you. And so if you want to be a part of something I created, and this is my first ever, and I mean, working with Mrs. Mo, who was teacher of the year at our school and putting it together and the master's degrees and everything else, it's next level. And I do recommend you guys coming on over. All right. So we're still watching here. Um, of course, we are at 125. So we're up 28% on this trade. We will keep an eye on it. Uh, what am I going to go through as we're looking? I did. Yeah, I got you, man. I hooked you up. How about a, how about a, 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 a hit the thumbs up for me for doing that for you though? Would you? I would appreciate it. And subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. How much lower do you think the SQQQ will go? Well, here's the thing. I'm actually bullish on the market. I don't have SQQQ. I should tell you, I have TQQQ. I've been in TQQQ uh, when everybody was short and we got extreme fear. I actually bought. And I got a lot of people saying, you're just going to lose money. You're going to lose people money. It's up 30-something percent. 
So I didn't lose anybody any money. Uh, yeah, so that one's good. And I still think it's going to go higher up through the end of December. Right now, everything, everything is pointing towards better news for the market. Uh, they got the, the spending bill thing, continuing resolution kicked down the road a little bit. Though, so that's good. We got a lot of good things going out there. Germany, ich bin dreißig, right there for a little bit of Pepsi, though. Yeah, uh, I took German. Um, my grandfather spoke fluent German. I'm part German. Uh, yes, I love Germany. Big fan. My wife's grandma was, uh, I believe her family emigrated from Germany over and they had a vineyard in Germany. They sold to come to the U.S. Big business people. They're very, uh, very great, kind people. You know, when, when they passed on, I was heartbroken. Uh, it was losing a... a even though I married into the family, they were just like so great people. So yeah, I hope you're having a good time out there. Anyways, Jacksonville, Florida. I'm always going to share my personal stories on this channel. Uh, so if that bothers you while we're trying to make money, it's probably not the channel for you. But if you want somebody who shares their soul and is here to help lift everyone up around them, and we're here to make bank and won't take crap from anybody, this is your channel. And that's what it's about. All right, so we've got questions down here. So if we join the class, then you switch us over from monthly to lifetime or no, 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 no. It's two different things, my friend. Meta menus, this is how it works. The Stockmo Patreon is totally separate. Portfolios, trading, stocks, how, where I'm putting my money and all that. The other one is the course. The course is uh, how to do technical analysis, how to use it. And it's a huge course. And there's a Discord where I teach not about, hey, I just bought this stock. This is my portfolio. This is the moves I'm going to make. I teach on how to use technical analysis correctly. I answer questions as well as other live sessions we will do. So do not, it's two different things. There won't be live streams for me trading in there like we do here, unless it's for an educational reason where I say, all right, I'm going to go in and show you guys what I look for. And we do that, which I probably will. Uh, but no, it's two different. Like the stock squad separate from the stock mo, which is separate from the uh, Stockmo Academy. The Academy is the course, months of putting it together, writing everything. It's awesome. London here in the house, Kentucky. And for those saying, what's he talking about? Right down below, you'll see the link. First link. It just went live for two days only. I'm going to have it at a major discount, like 70 bucks off. Uh, that's it. That's what we're doing. Friendswood. Nice name. Kentucky in the house. I like that. Tank Daddy Dallas. I love that name. Tank Daddy Dallas. Got the sign up. Dude, that, I'm going to remember that one. See, that's the thing. When you got something like that, you remember. Mark in the house. Friendswood. Love it. Maine in the house. Roger, the realtor. Hope you're selling homes out there. Seems like we can't get enough on the market for you. Uh, Malta in the house. Malta. Malta. Is that a, that's another country, I would, I would think, right? I uh, don't know where Malta's at. You got to help me out. Is that a country? Is that a, is a city? I don't know. Hello from DACA. Am I saying it right? DACA, I believe. That's awesome. And we got people all over the world. Long Island, New York, Iowa City, Montreal, Quebec. My kids are all taking French so they can go up and speak French in uh, other areas of the of the world. That'll be fun. India. Yep. India. A lot of people from India love that. We got the family all over the world here. South Carolina in the house. Got to get that back down to Myrtle. I need a break, but I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, Southern California. And we do got a special guest coming tonight in the studio. That's why I had to get the studio ready. I got Josh, uh, Stocks with Josh coming. Uh, he's going to come over and we're going to, he's going to come down and visit for a day. And I'm going to host and I always wanted him to come visit. And I want Larry Jones and Keenan Grace to come down and visit. We're trying to set it up. We can either get them down one at a time or all together would be best. I wouldn't get them all down here. I'll take them around. I live, uh, I have a, I have a, a great community I live in. And it's a lot, a lot of great people. So I want to show them Miami meet and greet. Got to make it happen. Guaranteed. We've already talked about it. And that would be one we do with the stock squad. All of us uh, down there. And hopefully uh, we'll see how that goes. Florida in the house. Mo money. Aaron, my man, we are killing it today. He is over there with me. Uh, we Aaron knows. Aaron's been here. He's been he's a day trader. I believe he's a day trader. I'm, I'm speaking out of turn, Aaron. I apologize. But he's good at what he does as well. And I love it because it's like, uh, tell me you're, you're good at what you do without telling me. And he can tell, he can see all the things I watch too. So we're up uh, 20, looks like 23% on this so far. It's just kind of consolidating in the last few minutes. I got the stop loss at 10% up at 106. So if it does flush, we'll make 10% on this trade. 
Uh, I'm not, I'm not terrified. We'll see. So, you know, but anyway, where was I? California in the house. Eric Roughcut Coleman, thank you very much for commenting. I appreciate it. East Greenbush, New York. Never been there. That sounds good. Uh, New York in the house. And of course, all kinds of things. I got phone calls. Uh, D-E-T. Detroit. Yes. The Lions. Go Lions, baby. All right. Good afternoon. Chesapeake, Virginia. Good afternoon to you. Uh, I hope everything's going well. Hello, Max. One of my best friends in life was named Max before he passed. Uh, greatest, one of the greatest guys, man. He was, he was something else. How often do you go live? I go live. This is new. I told you after I got back from Disney, I will be doing it almost every day. That is the plan. One fifteen, almost every single day, I'll be going live on YouTube, and then I continue it for an hour or two over at the spot. Usually one day a week, I will do it at the Stock Squad. And two to four times a week, I will do it over at the Stock Mo Patreon. There is no guarantees on that benefit. It is what I do. I hear you, Meow. And what's going on? You guys hear that, Meow? What's going on? Good kitty. Cats are in the office. They're loving it here. Hi from Mississippi. You think Tesla will pop? Let's take a look at Tesla. Let's pull it up. Come on up. Come on. Come on. Cat is loving at the place is clean. All right, here we go. The one minute chart, it is popping. It's in a bullish sign just like the other. So it's, they're all following each other. Let's look at the day show. Now Tesla was late to the party, but it finally broke. Uh, we had a gap up. I said it might gap up again. We got confirmation today. This is the confirmation using my recipe, but the waters have been choppy over the last month. So be careful. This is still in the channel that I told you that I've been watching. Uh, for those that don't know, when I, you see the lines, when I pull up a chart, it means I've been looking at this. And you can see that this is the resistance I think we're going to come into around 250. I would say 253 is going to be resistance. And that's where we, if we can break that, we're going to be moving back up. Uh, the next level we would get to would be 277. So if we break 253, we hit 257 or 277 in my mind. If we fail at 253, I do believe we will retest 180, probably 187, 188, 185-ish, 185 185-ish. 185 so I believe we'd work our way back down there. And so that's what I'm watching for. I'm hoping we got enough power to break through that. So there you go. You got your professional uh, opinion on this. And for those that don't know, yes, uh, a couple of things. A lot of people don't know what I used to do. So I should probably share that because I'm asking you to join a course. And you're like, what, just because you're a school teacher? No, I was a financial advisor. I, I did all these things. I did a lot of good things. Uh, I got an MBA. I have an MED. I went to college for almost 10 years, had to work, quit twice and put myself through working construction. Uh, I ran out of money multiple times. My family was dirt poor and we grew up having to get help from the government. You know, same life most Americans have, but you know what? There's two ways to look at it. Look at the man in the mirror and say, I'm not going to be happy just working 40 hours a week. I want more. And more means making your money work for you and watch what you spend. You don't have to go out there and waste your money on frivolous things. Uh, all right, where are we at, folks? Now we're popping 40% up. Yes, up 200 on this trade now. Let's get it. That's what I was telling you guys. Patience, patience. We got the stop loss set. We got the guarantee. If it runs big time and we get up, maybe I sell one more contract if we get up 50. If it doesn't, goes down to the stop loss. I take the stop loss. I'm happy with the 10%. This is where you can, you can do what you want. Do you want to sell one more share along the way? Every 10% it goes up, you can. But to get that thousand, that hundred percent gain that on a thousand dollar purchase, sometimes you gotta let it run. And so you gotta be careful. All right. All right. All right. So they went down the wrong part there. Uh, a lot of good things going on down there. Prague, hold on here. Czech Republic, right? Am I am I correct? Uh, for those that don't know, my family immigrated from the Czech Republic. And so you're looking, yeah, you want to know what a Czech person looks like? It's me, part German, part Czech, uh, and part Irish. And I got a little bit of Swedish in me. I got a little bit of everything. I did my blood test and it was all over the place. Uh, but the majority was Czech and Czech, <laughs> Czech and German. So well, that's what you get. It's where I get my height too. And I got the Swedish in there. I, I don't know, five, 10% Swedish. Uh, my dad always told me that we were Swedish. I didn't believe him. Uh, now I do believe him. Uh, here we go. Uh, what do we got here? So a lot of things going on. All right. So we're up 
36% on this. So we'll see if we can get this up to 50%. I'll sell another share. If it doesn't get up 50%, I'll just watch it. If we have a crossing down here, uh, I will sell it if we have a reversal. And you can see we are moving. I don't know. We're going to see. I got a, a breakout possibly coming with the tightening of the Bollinger. We've got a lot of things going on. All right, I'll say it again. If you haven't signed up for the course down below to learn all this in detail, one day or two days only, 70 bucks off the course, link down below. And I'm going to be taking this live stream over to the Stockmo Patreon as a reward. Like I said, it's not a guaranteed benefit, but I will do it. I'm trying to do it two to four times a week over there. So uh, that's what we're doing. And at the Stock Squad, I will do it at least once a week is my goal as well. Not a guaranteed benefit, but what I'm just trying to do to give more value. Mobile Alabama in the house. is How is Tesla doing? He was in the beginning of the video, Dan. I don't know if you were here. He jumped up. I started the live stream with Tesla Cat right here. So if you rewind it, you will see him. He is loving life. I like it. Uh, AKA Porsche, P-O-A-H-Y. Eric Roughcut, because I love that and I love the pick, I'm going to do it for you. P O A H Y. Let's pull it up. Let's take a look. This is Porsche Automobile Holding. We don't want the minute chart. And this, not enough. And we'll go into the day. I'm going to tell you what I think, man. You, my friend, are looking at non. No, 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 no. Yes. If you finish green today, you're a little high on the Bollinger, but this confirms my recipe and you're coming in on crossing the 50. This could be about to take a green turn. In other words, the suffering you have suffered here could reverse. I don't, it hasn't reversed yet, just to tell you. But the last time we reversed was right here and it was only for a little bit. And it was con it was confirmed. So it confirmed here, but it was a fake, it was a fake out. And at this point, when we reverse, you get out, you take your loss. And this is just buying the shares. So you set yourself up and say, okay, if it gets back to a certain point here, you sell. And it, It'll cost you probably 5%. You set a 5% stop loss. You could do 10. Uh, but at this point, this has confirmed after today. And if I would, I would consider it uh, bullish. And so if we cross the 50, that's a big sign. And if the 13 crosses the 50, it should continue running for a few days. My friend, it's looking bullish finally. This could be a fake out, but I doubt it is. I actually believe it could run. As you can see, we got solid strength. This is too much strength, though, and we will retest a little bit of that gap down. But then you should have a, a over the, I would say, the next day or two, a little bit of red and probably going up. If we get confirmation tomorrow with more green, feel great about it then. And so if you're already in it, I would say you're looking good. If you're thinking about getting in it, that's my opinion. All right. Hope that helped you, my friend. That's what I used to do for a living back in the day. That's crazy stuff. Ah, now we do it for free. No money needed. Just ask in the comments. And if we have time, I will. And not everyone will be selected. If you want to talk more about technicals and stuff like that, join the course, folks. Support me. That's what I do. All right. Uh, there you go, man. We hit you up, Rough Cut. I like that name. It's a good name. My nickname's Mo, in case everybody's wondering. That didn't come out right. I don't know what you mean by that, my friend. Oregon. DACA. If I said it right, Ghana. We got everybody, man, around the world. I love it. I think I think you were, I, I believe you were watching the other day too. I love it. The, the fact that we got people around the world bettering themselves, empowering your financial worth. Folks, that's what my, my motto is. I want to make sure people realize it's what we're all trying to do. Sanford, Florida in the house. Chile in the house. Rodrigo, I hope everything is going fantastic for you, my friend. I, I got to get down there, man. I got to find somewhere I can go and visit. Have some, and maybe you guys can help me out if I ever come down and visit that way. Help host me or something. Uh, me and my wife and just have a nice time. Music City, Tennessee in the house. Henry, I hope it. I hope everything is going great. I had a family member named Henry, one of my favorite. And man, life goes too quick is all I can say. Tampa Bay, Las Vegas. Same. Where is Tessa Cat? He was in the beginning of the video. Rewind it to the beginning. You will see it. Then come back up. He is... He's, he's something. He's something. DC in the house. Get down there and talk to those people on the floor. West Africa. There it is. There it is. That's it. I got to get down there and visit there. Man, oh, a beautiful country. Uh, Apex, North Carolina. And it looks like he's holding the driver back there. Man, after my own heart. Man, I got to get out there and hit the links. My kids are coming back to visit. I told them maybe we can get out. 
uh, do a little golfing. Brooklyn, New York in the house. Germany in the house. Malta in the house. It's a country, Malta. There it is. It's an island just under Italy. Now we're learning together with Chuck. Chuck's telling us it's country, Malta, and it is an island under Italy. It has to be beautiful out there. Uh, Las Vegas in the house. Destin, Florida in the house. Ebix is crushing. Good, 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 good. And we got, we don't want to lose our screen here. Gainesville, Florida in the house. I'm watching both just to tell you. Uh, Go Gators, my wife's favorite football team. Uh, France in the house. People all over the world. Charleston, South Carolina. I heard, now this is what I heard about Charleston. Tell me if I'm right here, Chris. Uh, got voted the best city to live in in the United States for friendliness, things to do. We almost bought a house down there. We are still highly considering buying a house down there for when we get a little bit older to come down in winter there. And um, tell me, is it as good as it sounds? Yes, no. Any advice? Put it in the comments. I, I, I'm going to get to it here. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Lily, oh, my family came from Cleveland. We play you in football this week for first place in the division. Go Browns. I, yeah. Well, welcome to the channel. Scranton. Scranton, Pennsylvania. I was up in Scranton. There's a pizza shop I always go to up there. Uh, and for those that don't know, President Biden's from Scranton. It's a great little town up in uh, central PA. Great place. Pasadena, California. Orangeburg, uh, South Carolina. York, PA. In the house, DB. I hope everything's going well. Greetings from Greece in the house. Love it, man. All over the world. Malta is dope. All right, folks. We got to Keep an eye on here. We'll come back to that. We are seeing a reversal here, which obviously we might get stopped out here. Where are we at? 125. So we're up. Eh, we're up a little bit. So at this point, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we lock in as much as we can. And oh, let's let's race that. 130. So we bouncing back. We'll keep an eye on this. If we don't, we don't want to give it all back. We want to be careful here. Okay, so I'm going to sell one. Confirm. That takes us down to three. We're up 164 on this trade. We're freaking killing it. So we don't want to give it all back, of course. So we lock in a little bit as we go. I started with eight share, eight contracts, which gives you a right to 800 shares. Uh, but we want to be careful. So I'm going to set that stop back to the 10% up. Hopefully, we don't have to have that stop out. Well, that was 106. So half of that would be one, 106. I'm going to set it at 111. It gives me 15% worst case scenario. Yes, 15% worst case scenario. Uh, today, for those who haven't seen it, we are up $1,375 in day trading on the computer man talk about doing well folks it is a good day and so you know we'll see how this works out so we rebounded here re rejected the the bulls the bulls won the bears got rejected here we are still in a bullish pattern uh for those wondering we are tightening up on the bollinger we could have a breakout very soon a breakout as you can see the bollinger opens wide and we have a lot of movement we haven't had that i i'm gonna guess Based off what we're seeing, we're going to retest right here. And so I would think the last time we did, it got ugly and we got rejected. It closed. Let me pull this up because this is what, oh, come on, man. I'm frustrated when I don't do things right, guys. Not at you guys. I'm just frustrated at myself. All right. Let's put it here. This is what I'm watching for. My brain, and this is it. This is where I get nervous. We are right there. So if we can break this, this is where we got rejected last time. Uh, this would be a double top and we would crash down. If we break it, we're off and running. And I would expect a retest of this right here. Uh, maybe, actually, I'd call it right here would be the retest because we did bounce back up and it got rejected here. So this is these are the two I'm looking for for day traders out here. Tell me if you think I'm right. Uh, if we can break this, we should be able to retest this. If we fail here, I would expect us to come back down a bit. Uh, and so this is what we're watching for. Let's break this thing. There it is. Let's, if we can hold above it, confirm a candle, I feel better. If we can't, might take another take another contract off to the table. We are up 45% uh, on this now. 
I don't know if any of you guys are with me on this, but hey, well, I have to push it again, go guys. Listen, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to learn the ins and outs and everything I do so you can do it yourself, I have the course live down below. Please join. $70 off today uh, and tomorrow, and that's it. After that, it's going to regular price, $349. So, and you get lifetime access to a private Discord just for that, just for the course. It's not my stock mo. It's not the stock squad. It's for that course where we're going to have interactions, talk, answer questions, not, hey, Mo, look at this stock. If you have questions on how to use everything is what this is for. This is to teach you to fish. The other ones, I come in there, I share what I'm doing. It's basically feeding. But this is the course. This is where I teach people to fish for themselves so you can feed your family. And that's what we're watching for. See how this, you can see the support in the lines. This is the big candle. If this can't hold, it makes me nervous. If it can hold and we continue to green up, we broke it, folks. We broke it, but we need a few confirmations. Well, look at it. You can see everybody, the big money knows we just broke and held. So now if we can hold this, we should be able to get 100% or on this. Uh, we're up 50% on that trade now, and that's what I love. Okay, there it is. This is why you set your stop loss and let it run. Now, we hit the Bollinger, which is not good. That means we're overbought, but here comes um, what I was talking about. Here comes the... Uh, uh, I had somebody walking outside. It took my attention off here. Uh, here comes the uh, uh, the the breakout. I told you the breakout as we consolidate here, and you saw the Bollinger tightening up. And I talk about this in the course. You have to prepare for a breakout, either up or down. So set your stop losses. And if you're on the right side of this, which has been bullish, and you would expect it to go up, you take advantage. Now we are taking advantage, and we're making money off of it. So this trade alone is up 227 bucks. One trade, the other trade, now we're up 1400 altogether, which is fantastic. Uh, good stuff going on. So, all right, let's get in there. It has to be, what do we got? Mo, ha, Old Young. Man, my man is in the house. I love it when Old Young stops by. Mo has to be 100 years old or extremely productive to accomplish all PF, those accolades. My friend, um, I'm going to say what I think is true, and I'm not down at anybody. I think I'm the hardest working guy out there, and I, I work nonstop. I don't, you know, there's a few people around me. I surround myself at work like me with Larry Jones, Keenan Grace, Stocks with Josh, Dr. Stock. They work just as hard as I do. They are working 24-7. All and, and so I got to meet them a few times, and then we started working together because we all had the same mentality. Let's make the world better, but let's just sacrifice a lot of our own free time and a lot of our own happiness. Not happiness like we're not happy, but like, oh, anybody can go out and just go to the beach every day. Oh, yeah, that's fun. But, you know, what worth are you? If you're just going to sit on the beach and not make the world a little bit better, sacrifice and help those around you that need help because you don't have to doesn't mean you shouldn't. Because you don't have to means you should. In other words, because you made it, help others, man. There's two kinds of people in the world. There's those that lift people up and there's those that just walk away or they push people down. And I don't want you to be the, the latter. I want you to help people up. So yeah, I work all the time, man. I We worked till about two in the morning last night. You know, I woke up early today. Uh, course went live at 8.30. It was crazy, man. So the course is my thing. And right now that's my attention. We got more courses coming. I don't know. Anybody interested? Let me ask you this. I, I've been working on this one for a year and, I, and it's difficult, but my next course is it's how to turn your side gig into a main gig. And it's how I turned uh, this YouTube career as I was working full time into my main career. And I go through everything, the numbers, something I never shared ever uh, as all the numbers I, that come with doing what I do, which I'm sure once it goes live, everybody like what? Uh, but I teach everybody how to pick a niche, how to do the SEO, how to do your videos, how to do everything, and to be able to make a living at it, hopefully, as you grow. And it gives you the community, the same kind of private Discord where you can go in and you can talk about video setups, everything. If you are into being a YouTuber, anybody out there, put in the comments if that's something that's interesting. I know everybody here is for investing, and I get that. I know it's the audience, most of them won't be like, ah, I don't want to be in that. But for those out there who want to make extra money, being a, a creator, being an influencer, I would absolutely, I'm just trying to talk all my kids into it.
because that's how rewarding it is to have a community around you with like-minded people. Think about when you go to work. Are they all like you? No, most of them are not. But if you go on YouTube, you go on a social media, some kind of platform, and you create content, 99 out of 100 people view content. One out of 100 makes it. And so the person who creates and gives back uh, can surround themselves with people who watch content and say, hey, I love this. And then all of a sudden, you got a lot of like-minded people, and you can make a difference together. We're, we're stronger together, and we can make a lot of money. So that's it. Let's go ahead and do some shout-outs again. Hit the like button for me. Uh, let's see where we're at. Enough of that that soppy stuff. Let's get into it. Hello from the sixth, sixth, the Amazon rainforest. I don't even know how to say that, but Ecuador in the house. It's great. Uh, it's difficult to see the top left corner. Yeah, up here. Yeah, I, I can't. Nothing I can do about the view here. Uh, we just got to keep watching. Let's see where we're at. Update. We are up. Whoa. 51% on this trade. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, it's difficult. TMF is down today because we had such a run up. It always happens with that. I woke up knowing it was going to be red. Even though it was green in the after hours yesterday, I knew an auction. They do auctions on treasuries. If they don't get, if the news comes out in the morning, PPI, whatever, or PCI, whatever. Uh, oh, it was PPI, I think it was. So when any of the news comes out, it just affects it. And anytime you have a huge run like that, there usually is back and forth. And so we got that. Can you chart Apple? Ah, yes, you are the man. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate that. Apple, absolutely. I am a fan of Apple and it plays into my stock. So I will show you Apple uh, after I learn how to put the right symbol in. And so we're going to go to the day chart on Apple. I don't do minute charts for the stocks I'm buying. Oh, I already did this one for a lot of people. Now you get to see it for free. This was part of the Patreon. Uh, and so I'll leave it there and I will share it with you. All right, I was uh, I was extremely bullish on this. This is the price point. This is where I expect it to go. 192. I had a couple of people say, "No way, Mo, it's not going to do it. It's already too high." I said, "No, as long as as long as we can hold the support. If we don't hold it, it will retest 182. If we hold it, which we just confirmed we did, we will get up to 192." So these are the levels I'm watching for. It is very bullish using mine uh, recipe. That's why I'm in double. That's why I'm in TQQQ. I believe we're going to have a nice run. Money should continue to flow in until we get a reversal. And until that reversal, I'm just making bank. And that's what I'm doing on some of the tech plays, the TQQ. I have um, SPXL as well. I'll give you a TQQQ because it's a nice combination uh, when you look at the Qs. And you can see right here, uh, these, this is TQQQ. Very similar looking chart. You can see we're nice crossing here. And I got in here. I got in a little early. It dropped. But then, of course, I was patient and it did pay off. You could see the it got oversold, extreme fear in the market. That was the time to buy. I took a chance. It did. Uh, and then you can see we're off and running. The RSI is getting a little up there, but we're still strong here. The 13 crossing was a big one. I would expect it after this happened that we'd have we would be higher than this within the next few days. We now are. And now we just kind of enjoy the bull run until it peters out. And we just don't know when that's going to be. So there's your Apple stock or the TQQQ. But, at, you know, when you look at these very similar between Apple and them, that's how I look at these. So everything is looking beautiful lately. So let's get back to the spy so I can see if we're making money, losing money on the minute chart. And, and of course, this is what we're looking at. Big money made today. Okay, so we're bouncing around here. Keep an eye on it. We got to beat this. This is the this is the zone now. I told you we're up there near that that last high we got rejected at. And you can see this line. This is the line of that high. Let's see where else we got here. Yeah, you can see where we're at here. So these are what I'm looking at. Now, if I had to pick and say a line that would scare the crap out of me, it's going to be this one. So if we broke back below this one, we'd get back down, and I'd, I'd probably sell even more. So a few things I'm watching as we got this play playing out. It's doing very well. We're playing the trend well. It is up 50% on the dot, so that's what we're looking at. All right, folks, I got to go. We're going to go over the stock mo Patreon. I got three minutes. 
hit the like button down below. And if you want to come over and join me, continue with these trades today, all you got to do is sign up for StockMo and make sure you come over and join the StockMo Academy, the technical analysis course. We got 70 off for the next two days. Folks, I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you over at the next live stream.